Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Um, a week or so ago, I shared my Amazon favorites just kind of in general lifestyle things and I really enjoyed making that video for you guys and you guys really seemed to enjoy watching it. So today, I thought I would share with you guys my Amazon favorites that are homeschool and educational related items. So all of these things are things that I purchased from Amazon that have really been invaluable to me or my girls or both when it comes to homeschooling. So I thought you guys would really enjoy seeing that. There's a lot of stuff on Amazon and sometimes it's hard to kind of weed through all of the stuff and it makes it hard to find the really good quality things. So I thought this video would be helpful for you guys. So if you wanna see my homeschooling Amazon favorites, then stay tuned. So the first thing that I got and I love and swear by that I've talked to you guys about before is the Times Tales DVD. If you have a child that is trying to learn their multiplication table or they're really struggling with it, even if they're public school and you're trying to find a program to really help them memorize those facts, Time Tales is a great option. My youngest daughter really learned most of the multiplication table, the upper multiplication table, because I believe these go from six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's see. Yeah, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's the facts that it focuses on. So it really took her only about a week with this program to really master her multiples of six through nine. So I really can't say enough good things about this program. It has been a lifesaver for us. It's great to go back for review. And there's also some division um, practice on this DVD as well. So I highly recommend this. It's really inexpensive and I think it makes a huge difference in how easily and how quickly kids are able to memorize the multiplication table. So that's the first thing. And I guess I should have shown this first because this is one of the first and only books that really helped me when it came to homeschooling that I used to check out from the library and I would have to like keep renewing it or go back and check it out again. And so I finally just decided to buy my own copy. It is home learning year by year. I've talked about this book before because it really is invaluable. I realized that one of the benefits of homeschooling is being able to teach your kids what you want. But if you're like me, you also want them to know what other kids their age are learning, um, even if it is you know, your own style of teaching or you know, curriculum. I still like to make sure that I'm not missing anything and that I'm keeping them kind of on par or what other kids their age are learning. It gives me peace of mind. It makes sure that I don't forget anything that I may have forgotten. Um, and I just think it's a good reference to have. So basically it goes from all the way from preschool through high school what kids in each grade level are learning. Now you can take it or leave it. Um, you can say, well, my child's not ready to learn this yet. We're gonna save it for, you know, blah, blah, blah year, whatever. But it gives you a really good frame of reference to know what kids in each grade level are learning. There are book recommendations, there's curriculum recommendations. So I just think it's a great book that every homeschooler should have. And I've, I've loved having this every year as we start a new homeschool year. Okay, my next Amazon homeschooling favorite is totally not necessary, but it's just one of those things that makes me happy as a homeschool mom. I really love having fun pins and stickers and post-it notes and markers and all of those things for the girls, of course, but also for me. I like to have fun grading. I like to use these on my to-do list to mark things off and nothing is more fun to me then scented markers. I use these to grade the girls' papers. I use them every day as I'm going through my to-do list and I'm marking things off. And it's not only is it fun to mark something off, but they're scented. So you can smell the scent and it's just so satisfying to me. So I have these like fat ones from Mr. Sketch and then I have these like skinny ones which are really nice for grading. I love these things. They are just one of those little things that you add to your day that makes you happy. I know it's just a marker. But it's, you know, if you can find little things, whether you homeschool or not, that make your life more enjoyable, why not? And if even if it's scented markers or stickers or something, do it. So my girls really enjoy using fun stuff and so do I. So one thing I don't have here to show you is because it's downstairs in the homeschool room and I forgot to bring it up here, but it is my laminator. A laminator is one of those things that I thought I wasn't going to need or really use that often when we first started homeschooling. But I found though that I really did want to have a laminator. There are certain things that I wanted to laminate to keep protected that we could use year after year or in the beginning when my youngest daughter had a lot of like um, flashcards and things we were using a lot, I was laminating those. So you just never know when you need to laminate something. Plus there's all different reasons, all different ways you can use one with arts and crafts and different things. So they're not that expensive. I got mine on Amazon. It was like, I don't know, $20 when I got it. I'm not really sure what it costs now. 
Um, so I think it's a really good thing to have around because you never know what you're going to need to laminate and there are certain things that would just last longer if you had them laminated. So I love my laminator. You definitely don't need one, but it does make my homeschooling mom job a lot easier and a lot more fun because I love laminating things. It's so fun to put it through there and have it come out all shiny and warm. I just love that. I know I'm probably weird, but a laminator is a great thing to have. Also make sure, I don't have one here to show you either because this is not on my list. I just happen to think of it. Make sure you have a three hole punch so that when you're putting things in binders that you have a hole punch that's gonna put the holes in the right place so you're not having to try to use like a single punch to punch holes. I mean, I, I use my three hole punch every single week and it really is something you're gonna need to put binders together and organize curriculum and all that stuff. So make sure you have a good three hole punch. Okay, I have a couple workbooks to show you and then some I'm just gonna have to insert pictures of because I've actually taken the pages out of the workbook and put them in a binder. So I don't have the actual cover to show you anymore, but these I can show you. This workbook is something that we have gone through all of the other levels so far. So one, two, and three, and we're working on grade four. This is a reading skills workbook by Harcourt Family Learning. I've talked about this workbook before. It's for my youngest daughter, of course, but it is really fun little stories. Some of them are fiction, some of them are nonfiction, um, but they have to read the story and then ask them reading comprehension questions. And I think reading comprehension is such an important skill. You know, she's already learned to read. She's a very good reader. We're working a lot on fluency and comprehension. And so Within that idea of reading comprehension, you're also learning facts, sequence, context, main idea, conclusion, and inference. So you're learning some writing skills along with the reading comprehension skills. So I love these workbooks and I intend to get these until they run out of levels. I'm not really sure how far up they go, but I definitely will continue to buy them until she is too old for them. Another workbook that's working really well for us is Spectrum Spelling. She is working on Spectrum Spelling 3 right now. She should be finished with that by the end of the school year, and so this will probably be for next school year, which will be fourth grade. We've tried a couple different spelling programs, and so far a traditional memorization style spelling curriculum is what's working the best for her. It is what worked for me when I was in school. That's how they taught me to spell, and I'm a very good speller, so, so far it's working. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, we do add some worksheets to the Spectrum Spelling Workbook. I feel like some of the work pages, work pages we don't use. But what I do is I will take her list at the beginning of each week, um, and there's a lot more words in the level four versus level three, but I will type her spelling words into a Teachers Pay Teachers spelling uh, PDF that I bought where you enter the spelling words and it automatically generates those spelling words in some worksheets that she can use to practice. So we use a combination of this book and that Teachers Pay Teachers resource for her spelling, but I really love it. It's working out great. And so I got, um, I just recently picked this one out from Amazon. And as a rule, the Spectrum books are really good workbooks. Now, the ones I don't have to show you, I don't have the Critical Thinking Mindbenders book. There are tons of these Mindbenders workbooks for all different levels that teach them logic skills, deductive reasoning, and all of this, like these really important skills that I think everybody needs. Um, and I think it's one of those things that's often overlooked to teach logic and reasoning and thinking skills. I love these workbooks for her and some of them are pretty tough. Like I will help her with a lot of them. And sometimes I have to sit there and think, okay, and figure it out by process of elimination or whatever to get the right answers. But it's a really challenging workbook that I think is really important. And so we do it as part of her morning work in her daily learning notebook with her time and her, her calendar skills and all that. We have that logic page in there. Um, and so she'll do one of those a day and it really does help her to think critically. Same thing we also put in her daily learning notebook is the analogies for critical thinking. My oldest daughter used all of those workbooks uh, until, we, until she outgrew them and we're planning to do the same thing with my youngest. So the benefit of analogies is getting her to think in a different way, but also that is something that she's gonna see a lot of on any state testing or any you know SATs that she's gonna have to take at some point, they do a lot of analogy-based questions, and so this is just getting her to think in a different way and to see patterns in things and figure things out. So 
I think it's a really great um, skill to teach and to practice and these workbooks are really great so I will have that link for you below since I don't have one to show you. Okay I'm kind of all over the place. I don't have these things in order and I'm sorry but post-it flags. These things are amazing for using as bookmarks. I will use them a lot when I'm planning school. My husband does school with the girls one day a week so I will sit down the night before and plan out the lessons for him to do. I use these a lot to mark pages and to mark out things I don't want them to do or whatever. I just, you always need post-it notes and post-it flag things like this. You can get them at the Dollar Tree and there are certain ones at the Dollar Tree that are good. There are also some of them don't, that don't stick very well. So I have found as a rule, the post-it brand ones stick the best and I use them every single day in our homeschool and I love them. Okay, another Amazon book that I highly recommend and this is something that I got to do with her for next school year but she actually loved it and wanted to start it early so we did. It is the Indescribable 100 Devotions About God and Science. So not only is this a Bible devotional for kids but it also brings in science concepts and teaches them in a biblical truth style. So 100 devotions that encourage awe at God's creativity and an in-depth look at space, galaxies, planets, and stars, earth, geology, geology, oceans, and weather, animals, my, our minds, bodies, and imaginations. So I love that it combines science with the Bible, which is how we like to do it here in our home school, and, and it's in a devotional format. So the, the lessons are short, so it's something she's going to be doing along with her science. She will have a daily devotion, or at least for 100 days, um, that's got the science facts, the Bible verse, and the devotion. So I love this book, and I'm super excited for her to continue using it. Um, and I think it's a great, um, a great idea. Uh, something else I've talked about before are these um, clipboards. What are they called? The Saunders Slimmate Plastic Storage Clipboard. We have used these things to death. Basically, it's a clipboard, and then on the inside, it has storage. So they can put their art supplies, they can put their worksheets for the day. So if you're the type of uh, family that likes to take your homeschooling on the go, whether that's in the car, or you like to go to a restaurant and do your schoolwork, or they're gonna be going to the babysitters, or their grandmother's house, or wherever, and you need them to have a work surface on top that they can keep all of their supplies and worksheets organized on the inside. This is perfect. I actually originally bought it as an art notepad, like an art studio the girls could take with them everywhere, and they have. They use them pretty much every single day and have them in that regard, and then they're also perfect for homeschooling. So I love them. They have a ton of different colors. We've had these for years, and they are still going strong, and they're not broken. So I really, really love and recommend those clipboards. Speaking of organization, I've actually talked about this next thing before in a different video, but I wanted to share it again to let you know that it is still working out perfectly and I'm still loving it. And this is the Samsil Duo 2-in-1 binder. So basically it is a three ring binder. It's got these little things that hold the corners down. It opens up like a regular binder would, and I've got all of the, I actually got all of the answer keys to, each of my girls have one of these. Um, all the answer keys are in this one binder. So I've got them labeled by subject. This is my youngest daughter. So I've got analogies, English, logic, math, reading, science, and spelling. So whenever I go to grade her analogies worksheet, all I do is go here. And I've got all my answers. Or if I want to grade math, I go here and I've got all of her answers. So when I want to grade, I don't have to get out 9 million different answer key books to grade their work. Everything is in this one binder. And if anything, either I don't want to punch holes in or something like that, I can put it in this like accordion file part, which is amazing. As you can see, it opens up like that. So I do have some of the um, Bob Jones answer keys in that bigger part because I don't want to punch holes in them. Uh, but I just love this thing. And like I said, each girl has their own so that when I go to grade papers, if I want to go and grade at the park or I want to take them to dance class and grade while they're doing dance or something, I can bring this with me and have everything I need right in one spot. And it's been really a great way to keep myself organized and to save myself some time. So I really love those Samsil 2-in-1 binder organizers. I think they're a great resource for tons of different organizational things. I mean, you can use that even to store your kids' papers at the end of the school year. If you need to keep a sample of each of their, if you want to keep a sample of their best work, maybe you have to turn it into the state, or maybe you just want to have it for your own reference. 
Um, you can also use it to give your kids their assignments. Maybe you like a work box style of giving them their work in each subject, you know, kind of divided up, but maybe you don't have room for a work box and you want to be able to put their work maybe in the accordion part and give them all their work for the day, um, separate it in the individual little compartments. So like you could open it up and say, here's all your work for the day, you know, start at the front, work your way to the back, get all your work done and you'll be finished. And they can put um, notebook paper in the binder part. I mean, there's so many different ways you can use this, even for non homeschool things, you can use it to organize um, like manuals and warranties that come with your appliances and things. So, so many great uses for this and I love this thing. So I highly recommend those and they do have a couple different colors. If you don't want pink, you can get different colors or one for each kid or whatever. But I think it's a great thing to have for a multitude of purposes. Okay, we're nearing the end of the list. I've got two more things left and I realized I forgot another thing to bring up here. So I'm sorry, but I will insert a picture. We are really loving Liberty's kids. If you are studying the American Revolution and the Declaration of Independence and all of the things that led up to the American Revolution, Liberty's Kids is a great TV series on DVD that my oldest daughter watched when she was younger and now my youngest daughter is watching it as we're going through our homeschool uh, history curriculum. She's watching it now and it really is, it's a great show that is educational, but what I really love about it is if you've got a kid who learns better from watching things that are more interesting. They like to learn over, they like to learn through songs or plays or TV shows or movies. It is a great show for that type of child, which my youngest daughter is definitely that type of child. Um, so we read the lesson about the American Revolution or Benjamin Franklin or Thomas Jefferson, whoever these people are, all of these different events in um, that time period of American history. And then we will go and find the coordinating lesson in, or the coordinating episode of Liberty's Kids. And it really is just a great way to solidify that lesson in her brain in a way that is interesting to her. And so I think it's a really great show and I love being able to have that, so that I can count that as history, I can count that as school, and she's still learning. Um, and it's just a, a great reinforcement of that time in American history. So I love Liberty's Kids now that it's going through my second child. And we may even watch it again um, later on when we get to the American Revolution again later on in her schooling journey. But I think it's a great series. And if you guys have not watched it, I highly recommend it. And my last homeschooling favorite that I got from Amazon, and I've talked about these before, um, are the Mark My Time timer bookmarks. They have fancy ones now that have book lights on the top. This one, the battery actually just died, so I need to get another battery. Both girls have a bookmark like this, and basically it is the perfect way to time them when you're wanting them to get extra reading practice. Or if they're reading at night and you say, okay, you can read for you know, 20 minutes or 10 minutes, however long, you set the timer and they can use this as a bookmark, but then when it beeps, they know it's time to put their book up and move on to something else or go to sleep. It's been a great thing for the girls to have because they get interested in their book and they lose track of time. And so it's a really great thing for them to be able to find out how long they've been reading and when they can stop reading without having to go like get out of bed and ask you or whatever the situation may be. These are great things to have and they have all different colors and patterns for girls and boys. And like I said, they do have the ones that have the uh, book light on the top, but I highly recommend these. I've gotten other ones before that were like generic knockoff brands and they, won't, they don't work right. These are the ones that I have found that work the best. And it's just a really great thing. And so those are all of my homeschool Amazon favorite items that I have used and loved for quite a while now. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my favorites are. And let me know in the comments if you have found anything amazing on Amazon that is good for homeschooling, education, that type of stuff. I would really love to know what that is so I can look into it to see if it's a good fit for us. So if you guys have any recommendations at all, make sure that you leave it in the comments below for me and everybody else to read to get some good ideas. Because like I said, there's a lot of stuff on Amazon, which is great, but sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. There is so much stuff to kind of look through and who has time to sit there and read every single re review and product information? Nobody has time for that. So let's help each other out and share what we have found on Amazon that is good for education and homeschooling. I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my homeschooling playlist. I will have it linked for you in the description box. Every homeschooling video I've ever made is in that playlist. So you'll definitely find some more information in that. 
If you're interested in checking that out, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those, and I will see you guys in the next video.